Hi, in this video I'm going to halve the even numbers up to 10. As you can see I've got some Numicon here. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So I can see which numbers are even numbers because they don't have any lumpy bits on them. Here we've got 2 and it doesn't have a lump on top. So I'm going to take away the, num the lumpy numbers and these lumpy numbers are odd numbers. So I'm going to take away 1, I'm going to take away 3, that's got a lumpy part, and I'm going to take away 5, which also has a lumpy part, and 7 has got a bit sticking up on its own, a lump, and 9 as well. 9 is an odd number too. So I'm going to take away all of those odd numbers, which now leaves me with these even numbers. So I'm going to find half of these even numbers. So halving means splitting into two identical pieces. Splitting a number into two identical pieces. And because I can't actually break this apart, I'm going to swap it because it's the same amount as these two ones. So I'm swapping the two for two ones, which I can split. So. Half of 2 is 1. Let's try it with 4. Okay, now on this one I'm going to split my 4. Let me take up the same amount of space into two twos. So I can see that half of 4 is 2 because I've got two twos that would take up the same amount of space. Next we've got six. I wonder how I can split that in half. Well, I've noticed that a two, a three, is made up of two groups of 3. So if I halve 6, I get 3. Next, we've got 8. What do I notice about this? Well, I notice that these two 4s can fit on it. So I know that half of 8 is 4. And finally, we've got 10. Now, I'll try showing it like this. I can see that I can cover it with two fives. They might not look exactly like a half, but they do take up half the space. So I can see that half of 10 is 5. And that is how to find half of numbers up to 10.